Oh. Hey, y'all. Justin Stone, and I can't. Sorry, welcome to the camera. It's my brows. It's okay. <laughs> oh. 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 Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Back with another video, and I'll be doing a little haul. So, in today's video, I'll be showing you guys the jawbreaker. Oh, okay. So, to start, I'm just going to prep with the Ulla Henriksen C Rush Primer, and I've just applied that on clean skin. After that's done, I'm just going to quickly prime with Farsali Skin Tune Blur. Let me do a little haul first, actually. So I got my Black Swallow Boutique order and pretty much ordered the Jawbreaker palette, the Mini Breaker palette, <laughs> the Brain Freeze palette, the Fully Nude Liquid Lipstick, and Diamond Wet Supreme Frost Highlighter. Oh my god, you guys. <gasps> Wow, look at all those colors. I don't know what look I'm doing. So I'm going to carve my brows out with some concealer. I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape. Just using this flat little concealer brush to detail. And then I'm just dragging the concealer down, down my eyes all across the lid, blocking out everything and then doing it on the other eye so let's dive right into this palette um, I'll probably just set my eyes first just slightly with some powder I hope the lighting will improve but this is the best I can do spent the money I should be using to get a ring light on this collection so YOLO <laughs> So I'm just gonna have a look at the Mini Breaker palette The Mini Breaker palette looks like this It's got some very nice purples and pinks and this really nice pop of orange You know, I've fallen in love with this palette already because I watched this video and Jeffree Star can do no wrong with this palette honestly like look at all these colours so I might play around with I might skip the I might skip the Mini Breaker palette today and I'll probably use like some of the nice reds and like this really nice gold, yellow gold color lemon drop. Oh my goodness. Um, so I won't really swatch them on the arm because you don't put eyeshadows on your arm. The palette's so big, holy crap. Woo! I'll just put the other palette in there. Oh, and before I forget, can we just appreciate this highlighting palette? It looks like, it looks like you can pull out an ice cream out of it or something. Like if this was an ice cream flavor, I love the colors so much, especially this one. This one is so unique. This one here, it's so unique. Oh my God. So I can't wait to dive into that, but I also have this highlighter called Diamond Wet and it's this really nice almost metallic looking highlight reflex like like a really pale champagne silvery silvery kind of color and so now that we're all prepped let's start with some transition colors all right well I figured out what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna start with this color called um F-U-C-K <laughs> typical Jeffree Star no restraints to calling eyeshadows whatsoever. There might be some references in this video. Just have my water, keep myself hydrated, you know? So I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm going into that F-U-C-K color. Ooh, a lot came on the brush. Wow. <gasps> so excited. All right, let's go. So I might start high, closer to my brows with this color. Just starting from the middle and blending backwards. I'm not even blending that hard and it's already showing up on my eye. Wow. Just blending it out towards my hairline so we can clean it up later. So far so good, that's blending out really nicely. I'm gonna start with the other eye now. 
There's hardly a kickback on the palette. Like, yeah, like I'm tapping the brush there and there's nothing falling out and there's no fallout on my face. So, so far so good. The formula is like really nice. Blending really well. I'm gonna try and be as creative as I can. Cause this palette is definitely out of my comfort zone and definitely not my typical bronze neutral kind of palette. Um, moving on to the next shade, I might transition down to Cherry Wet, which is this colour. And then I might use this brush here by MAC, it's the 186, or oh, 286. And it's Duo Fiber, I'm just gonna dip into Cherry Wet and starting at the same spot, deepening the crease. Oh wow, that's a really vibrant pinky red. Maybe fuchsia even. Holy moly. Now, because these shadows are quite rich in pigmentation, um, probably if you are thinking about getting this palette, um, do expect some slight staining on the lids. There's nothing preventative about staining. Well, for me anyway, every really bright eyeshadow kind of stains my eyelids, especially red ones. Wow, it's blending so nicely. Holy wow. Oh, that's absolutely stunning. I'm just going back into that F-U-C-K color, just making sure everything's nice and blended between Cherry Wet and F-U-C-K. Now, because I have hooded lids, I always take my eyeshadow out really high, like even to the point where it touches my brows because my actual like crease is very tiny and it's not even not even possible to do proper looks with it um, so I just fake my crease and basically take it up as high as I can um, moving on to a smaller brush this is the Smith 230 it's a really nice tiny little blending brush I'm going to dive into raspberry raspberry which is this color here and starting from the outer corner of the eye, I'm just gonna, in small circular motions, just buffing that color in with Cherry Wet. And then whatever's left over on the brush, I'm just sweeping it in, mainly focusing the raspberry color on this part of my eyes. And then just making a little V. Can you imagine like getting a neon apricot and then going under UV light and it's all like, ooh, glowing. Okay, I'm gonna move to using the M516, no, M456, and I'm gonna dip into just a tiny bit of this delicious color, almost creating like a smoky liner effect in between my lashes. Oh, sorry, across my lash line. And then whatever's left, I'm bringing up. But I just want more of that F-U-C-K color, just making sure it peeks through, because it's absolutely stunning. Right, so to cut the crease, using the same concealer brush that we used and then just popping in a little bit. Whatever's left on the brush, I'm just going to use to clean up and this is where we fake the crease. It's not so much of a cut crease, but it does help clean the immediate, like, right, now that the lid is somewhat cleaned up now, I'm going to use cotton candy which is this really nice I'm gonna swatch it it's this really nice sparkling pink color and this is what it looks like on my hand um, it's bloody amazing and if I do say so myself it looks like cotton candy so just with like my finger I'm just going to start applying that cotton candy color in padding motion blending over the raspberry well, not raspberry, the delicious color. I'm using my fingers so I can get more pigmentation out of the shadow. I'll use, I'll wet, I'll wet the shadow with a brush later on probably and make it more foiled looking. As an initial lay down, I'm going to tap the color in. And so far so good. The shadow is minted. It's coming up on my lids. So if it was a bad shadow and it's not coming on my lids, you'll know about it. With that concealer brush, I'm just going to follow that line we made earlier. I might wet it with the primer water from Smashbox. There it is. We have arrived. Oh, that's absolutely stunning. So using the same concealer brush, I'm going to apply Snack, which is this really nice um, champagne pink peach. I don't know. 
uh, just a nice light shimmery color and I'm going to apply that on the inner corner and then I'm just blending it towards that cotton candy color so we'll come back to the rest of the eyes I'm just gonna quickly do the face and for that I'm going to use the Becca skin love foundation in the shade bamboo going over my lips now with concealer I'm going to use the Tarte shape tape and this concealer is quite full coverage so I'm going to use it to I'm just going to set my under eyes with the Laura Mercier powder. Applying Cherry Wet underneath the eyes. I really want to smoke out my under eyes because I feel like this look needs to be like a little bit editorial, a little bit, you know, something, something. And then with this Smith 247, I'm going to concentrate the color even more. Oh, runny nose, better go catch it. Time for the lashes. I'm gonna cut my lashes. Gosh, I remember the day when I started using these. I was like so scared, like ripping my eyelashes out. <sighs> Great. Adding more of that um delicious color. And then just blending it out. And then just a light coat of mascara. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Better Than Sex if I can find it. Where did it go? Nothing too much considering we're prepping these for falsies anyway. So I'm going to use these lashes from Eyelure, these ones, if you can't really see them. Don't know what they are, I think they're an old pair. So I'm going to use them and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I went ahead and applied those lashes and as usual I struggled. So please forgive me, I'm still learning how to go for bronzing. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty in Caramel Cutie. To deepen our lower lash line even more, I'm going to run a little bit of going to run a little bit of raspberry underneath, and then I'm just going to use this tiny little brush. Switching brushes because that one's a little bit scratchy. Damn, this is like serious pink eye. Serious conjunctivitis vibes. But I like the colors, so yellow. And then just grabbing a pencil brush and just lightly blending delicious underneath the lower lash line. Create a bit of definition. And then with that same brush that we used earlier, just blending the shade. So for inner corner, I'm going to use the Lemon Drop shade from the palette and it's this really nice, um, I'd say it's a true yellow colour and we're just going to use that for our inner corner highlight. Might use a pencil brush. So for highlighting now, just I lightly misted my face with the Smashbox Primer Water and we're going to dive into the Brain Freeze palette. Um, so this palette is absolutely stunning. Um, these colors will probably suit all skin tones. So I'm gonna actually dive into this Gold Breaker shade. It's, it's so unique. It's got like a marbled effect on it. It's so cool. I'm just gonna dip my brush in there. Just gonna use the palette as a mirror. <gasps> um, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> If this is just the normal, regular skin frost formula, oh my god, the Supreme Frost is gonna be... This one is gonna be like blinding. You can't even see it properly in the camera. There's like a star, there you go. There's like a star. It's literally... I've never had a highlighter this shiny before. For blush, I'm gonna use NARS Torrid. And it's this really nice um, peachy pink, which I hope will match with this collection. Okie doke. So for the lips, I'm just gonna use the Huda Beauty Bombshell 
lip liner. Awesome. And then for the nude lipstick, I'm going to use his fully nude liquid lipstick from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. First time. It's this really nice. Sorry, I was swatching here. It's this really nice color. These colors, the lighting doesn't do it justice, but in person it's so vibrant. Like, you know it's gonna be rich and pigmented and saturated with color. Um, I highly recommend it. So that concludes the video. I hope you guys like this makeup look. It's very pink, it's very Barbie. Um, the nude lips is very, I like the nude lips very much. It's very soft, it's comfortable. Um, I do have really deep like lip lines, if you call it that. So it does look a bit crusty. But to combat that, I'm going to add a little bit of, to finish off, I'm just going to add a little bit of the Jeffree Star. Um, so obviously, because we did like such a dramatic makeup look, I went a little bit easy on the skin. Um, and as usual, in typical Justin fashion, I'm not very good at describing things. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this mash of a video, bit of first impressions, bit of a tutorial, bit of a chit and chat kind of thing. And I hope you guys like this video and please go like and subscribe. And if you are new, my name is Justin. Welcome to my channel. Um, I hope to see more of you guys um, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.